Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive word, <laughs> TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-C, and we are here with a man who needs no introduction. He's a man, oh, a myth, a legend, another participant in the pot, in the, uh, what, what did we go to? What, what was it called? Improv, Improv class that me and Jonas attended. He's a beautiful man. He's <laughs> he, he's a sexy man. And he knows it. He knows it. Yeah, it I even bring, rang I, when, and made noise when he thought about how sexy he was. I bring to you DJ Dance Face, the original, except no substitutes. <laughs> and uh, here he is. Hi. DJ Dance Phase. Burr, 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 burr. What's going on, man? How are you? Oh, God, that's creepy. I'm just, yeah, um, I'm sitting here upset by what's happening on my uh, screen right now for those who are listening. Um, Why are you upset? TNT Space keeps transforming into a Why creepy doll upset? woman. Um, yeah. And I'm not going to sleep for several days after this. Oh, my God. Now it's. Why are you upset? upset? <laughs> I, hate, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, if you aren't watching live or live, or I guess on face cam on our YouTube yeah. channel, go to the, go to the crazytown.com. That's where you can subscribe there. Also, we're available on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, any place you can get a podcast. Even Grandma's Kitchen Radio is probably playing us right now. She so, loves uh, us. DJ Dance Face. Hey. How's it been, man? It's been a while since we uh, seen you, talked to you, done stuff. It's been a long ass time. Uh, I'm good. I'm good, man. Uh, living that pandemic lifestyle. Mm, I see you're in a room with nothing on the wall, so that's about that's about apt for pandemic <laughs> stuff. <laughs> that's the idea. Um, see, I like to really decorate my Zoom space by making it as blank as possible, so people can focus on my sexy mug, like we were oh, talking about. Ooh. I thought maybe it was just like the depression had set into a point where you've taken everything down off the walls. Well, no, and you you're... do see the depression's into the point that's just like a pile of paintings in the corner. <laughs> you're like, I'm, I'm almost done to give it all away. It's almost time to give my paintings away. And then I'm done with know. wall decor. I just want to enjoy these nice blank beige walls. That's what I need in my I life. It. I love how even the carpet is like an off white beige. Oh, too, yeah. To, to match. yeah. That's what yeah. I like. DJ yeah. Dance Face yeah. likes nothing but shades of beige and creme. <laughs> Eggshell. Yeah. He's real Egg edgy. Shell. Eggshell is not good enough. You must go even darker and gloomier. Oh, yeah. yeah. So how, yeah. how have you been for real, though, man? I, I, how's, how's work treating you? Oh, shit. Um, like shit. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah, no, I'm an, I'm an educator. Uh, I like, I was, I was, you don't have to give any, don't dox yourself. I'm not going to, but uh, we were talking about, I, I chose a very interesting year to go into the field of education. Um, I yeah. timed it just perfectly to hit off with a global pandemic. Um, yeah. But I'm lucky. Uh, like, you know, we, we moved into a new house recently awesome. with our beige eggshell walls. Uh, it wouldn't so, be a new house if it wasn't beige eggshell. Ah, uh, yeah, and so uh, it's it's good. <laughs> good nice, good. nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. Good, the, good. We're doing the same old stuff here. We're just doing a podcast, uh, trying to make everybody else's life a little better by making ourselves doing look doing like God's work. A, right, right, right. I mean, I guess. What about you, TNT? How you been since last week? We we, we live together. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy town compound is a very vast and large structure i go weeks without seeing him so you i don't know, even know if he exists how long has it been since you guys left your rooms oh uh when did the pandemic start <laughs> um at least at least four hours for me i would say yeah, yeah, I was i was gone i came i came home earlier i was out venturing in a land of sea of he was out Shopping. getting. He was out getting pussy. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations. I know. I'm happy for you. Don't be shy. Embrace those that. Things, those things exist out there in the world. He was, he was no. out getting pussy. He can't say it, but you. I can say it for him. So. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna jump right into it. Um, you know, have, uh, over the course of your lives, I know some of us have, have partners, um, wives, whatever, but in the course of your life, before you were locked down, you know, have you ever dated more than, more than one woman at a time, you know, or, you know, seen a couple Whoa. people? We jumped right in. No. 
He's Simul- like, what's what? dating? <laughs> Simultane. I've been married for 13 years. What is this dating? Tell me more. Wow. Are you serious? Totally. Yeah. No, totally. <laughs> We've been oh, wow. together for 13. You know what? It all blends together. I don't know anymore. You're like, I graduated junior high school and then now I'm married. That's all I really know about my 13 life. 13 years? We've been together for 13 years. We've been married for like six. But still, I mean, yeah, that's a that's a long time. So, well, awesome. Well, never mind then. Well, you can maybe relate in in comedic <clears throat> jest then. So I will. So but even man, thirteen years. What were you doing before thirteen years? Oh, you know, just praising the Lord, huh? just praising <laughs> praising the Lord Jesus Christ, my one and only, with my purity ring. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Well, see, you traded your purity ring in for a wedding ring, and then and then you've just <laughs> seen yeah. it. <laughs> and here I am, and I'm married to a satanic witch. It's 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 <laughs> it's what you jump right into. Yeah, you go from the left to the right, or the right to the left, depending yeah. on what's like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. all right. Well, fuck. Well, fine, Jonas. I will admit <laughs> that I oh. have definitely juggled more than one woman at a time. Okay. okay. The most I've ever juggled two and a half. Was now, one can of we, them? Can we can we follow up on the? Uh, we are all <laughs> curious now. What do you mean? The half was woman she, that you dated. Was she, was she in an accident? Well, she was. Was she know, living the, at the time? All right. So the one was the man. Was she really short? No, because that's mean. <laughs> and we're judging. And we're and we're judging you right now. Yeah, no. people only call her a half woman because she was short. That no, is you know, not okay. Honestly, this is gonna never. You know what? I don't know if I should get into it. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> Like, if she was short, Sorry. that would actually be the preferred. Like, that would be less Oh, you call offensive. her a half, and that's worse than her being yeah, short. Yeah, that would be less offensive than the actual reason I consider it two and a half. Let's just say, you know, half. Okay. But yeah, I had one main, one backup, and a half. <laughs> I don't so want to get curious. into it, man. That's because, fine. like, you know, <laughs> Well, if her being, if you calling a short person a half is better than the real explanation. Short. She wasn't sure. I, uh, I, I feel you. So, Let's just say that cognitively half. Every oh. time, here, this is a magic <laughs> thing about this story, is that every single time you add a detail to dig yourself out of one hole, there's a chasm opening up, and I'm like, I want to know more about this. Yes, I'm not right. digging. Yeah. Now I'm like, dig. wait, now it's cognitively, so now did she know? not even know that you were dating her? She's like, I don't even know who this man is. You just kind of appear on corners, you're like, hey, baby. <laughs> she, you know, she wasn't, you know, 100% aware of, you know, oh, going on. Oh, oh God. okay. I got you. I you got were you. dating somebody, seeing somebody, and stalking somebody. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm on this now. <laughs> no, no, it's it's much more nefarious than that. <laughs> wow. As you, as he I said, before, like I'm, the be I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. So seeing somebody, uh, dating somebody, kind of seeing somebody on the side, and kidnapping somebody else. Okay. <laughs> That's actually less nefarious than the real story. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Let's, go. <laughs> Let's go with that one. I'm glad I so, cleared that up. So anyway, uh, I myself, I have, I probably seen a couple girls at a time, but it was never like one was my girlfriend and I had a secret other person and like whatever. It was just like I was happening to hang out with a few you, you, different You don't know what you're missing, man. Do, oh, yeah? <laughs> you don't? No? I guess not. I guess you're, you're living out. the life of all three of us. So, <laughs> so there was a man... In, J- in Japan, he was uh, arrested. I, and I'm not oh. sure how he was arrested for this, but um, as you can see right now, he was arrested for dating more than 35 women at once solely for the purpose to get birthday gifts. I heard about this story. So what he did was he dated, I guess, 35 different women and told them all he had different birthdays. So all throughout the year, he was getting presents from them. This and like, so, idea. yeah. So he said like one, he said his birthday was in like November. And then the other one, he said it was, oh, I guess I don't, I have to register now to read this article uh, that I didn't have to before. <laughs> so, you That's know, funny. You, you, you can just make up the details now. Yeah. So he, uh, yeah. So he wanted a turtle, a toy for his birthday. <laughs> So oh God. no, no, he uh yeah, so he said it said in the article, I did read it earlier, and now I've hit the paywall, obviously. So uh <sighs> and I refuse to pay for things. So uh yeah, he wanted um to tell people that he, you know, I, I think they got him for fraud. I don't know how they exactly got him, 
or what he got arrested for because it's really not illegal to date 35 women nor and tell them that your birthday is different yeah to no. get a toidal there's a moral, there's, there's a moral uh obviously a moral paywall if you will right where, right like, yeah. Ooh, like what you did there <laughs> but uh i don't yeah it's not illegal yeah it lie. said that some of them bought him like 200 yen suits and things like I, don't, I guess I, have I just dated trash women that just never bought me nice presents? I was well, like, I think this just opens up is that you've been, you know, trying to get free things and now you can just, you can get someone to date you and for your birthday ask to get access to that article. <laughs> right. Can well, you you're, give me a, can you you're give me doing this all wrong. Yeah. I know. Right. So it's like, I never like, but here's the other thing too. It's like, if I've like with someone, like, $20. And, Oh, that's a that cheap, that's not, a, not a great suit. No. He's asking for little things. It's like a, a, a cheap suit and little turtles. That, that's 2,000 yen. This story is, once again, straddling something where when you first see 35 women, you're like, whoa, where's this going? And then it gets kind of cute. You're like, oh, he wanted a turtle in a little suit. <laughs> yeah, he's just lonely. He just, he just wants another, he just wants a different woman to give him a present every week. Um, but like, when you're dating a girl... Do you get them like hundreds of dollars of presents if you're not like in like a serious relationship? No, no. I would spend <laughs> right. about $20 so, on them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. what you're getting. So, Sorry. Like, if, I'm, if I've been dating you for like a month and like it's Valentine's Day or your birthday, like, yeah, I'm not buying you a $200 present. Get the F out of here. No, you get a $20 suit. A twenty dollars yeah. suit and a reptile, and that's all you're gonna get from me. Oh, that's the extent of our love. Yeah, is this, is this a turtle. common gift that you give? You give like a reptile and a piece of cake. Y'all need to date more people. You could just buy reptiles and a piece of cake. It's a good. It's yeah, a, that's good he people. has been married for thirteen years, so if he's been doing something right, every spice, every spice things up with every cold year. Blood here, I got you a rattlesnake and a cheesecake. It's it's kind of like in an improv show when you feel like things are starting to burn out in the end. You run out of ideas. Um, you're just kind of pulling whatever you can get. I haven't said this yet. Uh, right. I haven't given this as a gift yet. Like every scene that we all did, we just went down a rabbit hole completely. Out of <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I think this just speaks to the fact that women give shit gifts. She gave I a two hundred dollars suit. How's that a shit it gift? Ain't $200 two hundred yen suit. Two hundred yen is not. Listen. <clears throat> Have you guys ever gotten a gift from a girl that was, I want to say good, but I'm going to say worth the shit? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Can you think of a gift that you've ever gotten from a female that was worth the shit? And don't say your engagement ring. That doesn't fucking count. All right? <clears throat> and don't say a blow job. That doesn't fucking count either. That's, I mean, that's a gift, but in a different <laughs> way. Uh, no, I got a uh, one time when I was married, I got a uh, shoulder and neck massager thing that plugged into an outlet, and it was like I still use that ish so to the you day. You do still use that to this day. My wife it, gave me a bunch of knives recently. Oh, <laughs> four. Just maybe you not need a bunch of knives. <laughs> Do you okay. ever give gifts that you really want? <laughs> Just like here, honey, I got you a vacuum. Like, <laughs> no, I would not. If I gave that as a gift, those knives would be used on me. <laughs> that, that is, that, that's opposite direction. Can I ask a question? Yes. Yeah. Did, did, did you want a bunch of knives? You can always use a bunch of knives. Don't you want a bunch of knives? No. That's very handy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, handy. but no. Yeah. Okay. Are they kitchen I mean, knives look, or like... uh the knives, dude, it, it, you know... It, it speaks volumes on your own preferences. Oh, uh, no, crazy. that definitely does. Are they, <laughs> are they, are they <laughs> kitchen knives or like tactical knives? I mean, I we, guess that makes a difference. We, we did get some new kitchen knives that are really nice. But that's that's the, the that's boring Monday and married details when suddenly okay, you're like, you what I really want? I want a vacuum that has a battery. And now I have to plug it into the walls. That's what I want. For my I don't want to trip over the cord when I'm cleaning our house. It's nice. It's really oh, dude, good. I hate vacuuming. I bought an iRobot, so I never have to use the vacuum again, and it works. Oh, great. I love those though. Those are great. Yeah, yeah I got a cheap one because I didn't get a Roomba. I'm not spending eight hundred no. bucks on a vacuum. So, I, what about you, TNT? You ever got a, a gift that that was worth an ish? I know you got one gift that was worth an ish. Yeah, and it's the one I'm going to bring up too. I remember uh, 
when Xbox, what is it? What is the one we have now? The Xbox One? When it first yeah, yeah. launched, my girlfriend at the time got me the day one edition. Held on to it for like, because my birthday's in, in March. Held on to it until December. Gave it to me. And it was like Christmas morning. It was like I was a little kid and it was Christmas <laughs> morning. And that was like a $500 gift. Yeah. I was very, very impressed. And that's probably the best gift I've ever gotten from a, a female. Um, I've also had a girl get me a cat one time. Oh. Did, you, did you want the cat? Uh, I kept the cat for about a week. <laughs> and then I gave it to somebody at my job who was like, I'll take yeah. the cat. Well, here's the thing. How are you going to give somebody a present that they got to take care of for years? Yeah. Here, I love you. Here's the gift of responsibility. <laughs> Have fun. Every exactly. gift begins with responsibility. Right, exactly. Like, But, you know, here's my thing, too. The present that I got when I was married, I don't think that counts either because our money was together. So it's like it was our money that bought oh, me that present. See, now you're splitting hairs. Now you're splitting no, hairs. No, that makes no, you difference. do you do run into that. That we have to have a conversation when it comes to like gift giving season. We're like, all right, so technically we're just giving each other things with our own money right now. So okay. uh, you have to have have that kind of conversation where you have a joint bank account. Well, right, oh, so like, like it's like relationship petty cash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of put it aside. Well, here's the thing, though. It's like, if it's really great if your wife gets you a five hundred dollar present, but if it's something you don't want that much and it's out of both of your money, you're spending two hundred and fifty dollars of your own money on that for yourself as well. So it'd be better just to be like, "Do you want this thing? Is it worth giving, spending all that money on you?" Because I think that's what ends up being more endearing about it is that you know, once when the money is joint together, it's less about how much was spent on it and more like how much did they say that they knew about you because they knew that. Uh, I think makes the gift a little more fun. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, done things in the past when our money was together where it's like, hey, we'll each take for Christmas, we'll each take a hundred dollars, and you have to get at least X amount of presents with that hundred dollars, and you can't spend more than half on one present. Then it becomes what can you find to fit these stipulations? And they're That's more thoughtful, fun. like fun gifts. So it's like, yeah, we got to get at least five presents with a hundred dollars. Can't spend more than half on one gift. And then That's you get these fun. like, yeah, you get these little $7 gifts that are like just something kind of neat that you needed or whatever, but it's not ridiculous. <laughs> TNT shaking his head. TNT is, like, it is not about this, <laughs> this gift pay limit. No, dude, you fucking marry people disgust me. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm saying, I'm just, in my defense i am no longer married and i am okay with that yeah, well you disgust me with your previous behavior <laughs> that's fine I'm, you know honestly i discuss myself with a lot of my previous behavior whether it be marriage <laughs> or other so no it, it it is it's it's interesting that we get this this uh this take that i'm not familiar with so yeah right yeah because cool. we get the current married guy the guy who was married and is no longer and the guy who has never been so we get all three sides be. God willing. <laughs> no, and that's a good decision to know about yourself because it takes a certain amount of weirdness to do it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I have sure. noticed. I'll keep that in mind. I'll yeah. keep that in mind. Don't do it. I like <laughs> it. Don't do it. <laughs> so, so, but here's I really don't understand how, why this guy got arrested because I don't, it doesn't seem like he did any unethical, immoral, sure. Illegal? Oh, man, they, they got different laws over there, my dude. They got different laws over there. Those maybe he was asking. Laws, maybe saying? maybe he was asking for shit gifts, and they're just like, "Stop wasting our fucking time." People keep complaining <laughs> about you for your shit birthday gift asks. Yeah, this reminds me of the guy um, uh, recently who was in the news. Well, I shouldn't say recently; it's within the last five years or so. That'll count. But uh, he was on Tinder, and he would take girls out on dates, and then he would order the meal, eat with them, and then he would ditch. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> now, is it illegal to do that? I guess really? technically, no. It's, it's immoral as fuck. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a D move. I th yeah, you could, it's absolute dick move. Qual I, don't, I don't know where that would line legally. Because if I did, like, like check it, if me, you, and, and DJ Dance Face went out to eat, and we order food and we eat together and then DJ Dance Face decides to take off. I got to piss guys. Bye. And then I'll he just right never come, he never comes back from the bathroom. And they're like, oh, "I'm sorry, you got to pay for him." We're going to be like, "Oh, that's fucked up." And we're going <laughs> to pay his bill. 
<laughs> right, right. And then, like, we get free range to, like, put a foot in his ass next time we see him. <laughs> but, like, I don't know if we can call the cops necessarily. Well, and, and that is what, what are you talking? You're talking like a $20 meal. Like exactly. what's really, it's, it's like a very misdemeanor thing. It's not like it was $500 felonious, like amount. Exactly. And from what you told me, this guy was only getting like medial meager gifts from these girls. Plus women, like I said earlier, women can't get anything good for guys. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> like a, a girlfriend ain't getting you anything good for Christmas or a birthday or anything. Does this mean this whole time we could have been like suing people for dinner fraud? Like, someone doesn't pay their half of the bill. Like, if, if that is like a punishable offense, I don't. That's something you. I, I feel like, yeah. Okay, hot take, life, y'all. Okay, bring it. Have, have you guys ever been out to a dinner where they did one joint tab? Yeah. Like, see, I don't like that. I hot take. I think that's bullshit because there's always one guy who's like, oh, another round. Hundred percent. Another round of drinks. As as a as a former New Yorker, they they do not split the check. If you ask them to split the check, they give you the punishment. Like they give you the look. Um, okay. And so you always have this thing going at the table that there's the one lazy asshole who uh, ordered too much, then forgot all the things they ordered, and then there's the one mathematician who's trying to like type it all out and figure it out, and there's everyone else just trying to like keep the awkward to a minimum level, and you always end up paying for that one asshole's drink that he forgot yeah, about. You always end up paying more. Especially in in that person's case. Yeah. You always end yeah. up paying for the jalapeno poppers that you don't remember eating. <laughs> yeah, they're like, here, though. he's like, hey guys, I'll get this for the table. And then he's down there at the end just shoving them in his mouth. And he's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know I've, what these. I've been, in, I've been in that situation before. Yeah, that sucks. So like <laughs> I said, I don't know if that's illegal. I feel like once you sit down at the table, you eat the food... <laughs> You've already agreed to pay the tab, you know? Yeah, you're accountable for the whole tab. Well, that'd be like you going out with a date with a girl and then just be like, oh, honey, I forgot my wallet. Can you cover this one? <laughs> what if you forget your wallet? Then uh -huh. she has to pay for it. It's that, not well, illegal. It's immoral. <laughs> it's a dick move, but it ain't illegal. Is it? She's like, you're like, this date was going really good. And then, you know, I'm not feeling it. I'm just going to make her pay. Then she'll never call me again. But regardless, the guy that did that on Tinder, he got yeah. called doing it to a bunch of different women. And he actually did end up having uh, criminal charges brought up on him. But, you know, it was yeah. reoccurring and just, it was a lot. It was it deceitful. Was excessive. It yeah, was excessive. yeah it's, it's Tinder fraud. It's Tinder fraud. <laughs> it's Tinder fraud. You're going, you're going out with an expectation you're going to be splitting a check and then you don't. Or I guess. Yes, I don't know. Or, that, that sounds hard to prosecute, though I feel like in some sense it should be in some way. Yeah. Well, it's like uh, intent. Like you do it once on, like it's. Well, I guess anyway, it's intentful. But like it's like when you have a. I guess it's like a uh, a repeated history of deceitful actions. You can eventually get in trouble for fraud. Once you get up you're... to thirty five, yeah, you're going to be brought <laughs> up on charges. <laughs> if you do it five times, you're scot free. If he had only done it five times, if he only got five Christmas birthday presents, and that guy had only taken five women out to to eat and dashed on them. He'd probably be fine. But once he gets up to 35, yeah, man, come on. You can't God, you can't dude, be doing that shit. Know. So that's and like, well, I here's think. the thing, you know, when you go to prison, they obviously judge you for what you're there for. Because if you're if you did crimes against kids or women, they tend to get you in jail. Oh, like if you're the guy who's Jonas dating... about his prison bit again. Oh whatever. <laughs> Is this so a common great. one? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know. You always love okay, yeah, bring about, it on. So if you go to jail. For dating yeah. 35 women, are the guys going to – you think the guys in jail are going to um, try to do something negative to you or they're going to be no. like, how would you pull it off? They don't fucking care. No, do they – because if you – they do care. Because you yeah, know you, you hear about people – If you kids or you hit women, yes, they care. But if you just rob women – Unless you – unless unless you meet that one guy who's like, you know what I hate? Dine and ditchers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate dine and ditchers. You're <laughs> dead meat, man. I hate people who lie about their birthday. <laughs> yeah. That's my one thing. <laughs> my girl lied about her birthday and then cheated on me on her birthday. So and this, sharpest, this opens up an experiment that I'm definitely not, like, telling the audience to go try, but it'd be interesting to see is, like, how many different things can you go just do and then just walk off and go, I forgot my wallet and not have pressed charges on you. Like, can I go to the chiropractor and then be like, ah, that was really nice. 
oops and walk out like would that be that would <laughs> tiny be, dash at the chiropractor well, yeah you'd be charged for that the business is going to charge you. they'll bill you obviously right send it to your house but as far as doing that to like, just random make, people yeah yeah if you go to the movies oops i forgot my wallet can you cover this <laughs> i've never done that have you guys ever had to do that where you go out on a date and you have to ask her to cover for the bill because you didn't have your wallet <laughs> kept uh, uh, I just I just see a look on DJ Dan's face. <laughs> it's his face that is saying that he may have done this before. Potentially, she 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 she, she, she obviously for I look. I don't remember things that are in my general vicinity, like wallets or cards or things. She still married me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she obviously saw, saw some redeeming quality. Yeah, yeah, did you at least happened. Venmo her back? Did you get, did you hit her back? It was pre Venmo. You just kind of had to be like, "I'll spot you for that," and you. Totally I'll get you next time. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you definitely won't forget about that. <laughs> you definitely won't forget. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, I won't. Don't worry." <laughs> I'm talking. There's a warning sign, and there's a warning sign. Hmm. Uh, wow. Yeah. Don't be dead. Don't be that person, guys. No, you know no, how you prevent that? that. You just don't make them pay DJ all the time. Space, you just don't pay for anything. You just tell them from the front if you want to date me, you pay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you'll see how, last, how long that lasts. <laughs> you know, I ended up married too. <laughs> it's super effective. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, here we're, you're, we're giving all the, the good romantic advice here, everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah, listening absolutely. at home. So, um, so anyways, I'll, I'll jump on to something else now. So, uh, Oculus, the virtual reality headsets. Yeah. Oh, so I bought one to check it out. I ended up returning it. It was all right. I just didn't feel it. I uh, was going to get my money's worth out of it or whatever. Um, and, you know, they're only like 300 bucks, which is a really good deal because it's actually a very, very good piece of hardware. But you have to link your Facebook account to it. Mm-hmm. So what I just saw online the other day was you they do actually sell a version that you do not have to link your Facebook account to. It costs 500 extra dollars and after the first year you have to pay $180 a year subscription fee. So your data is worth $500 up front and $180 a year to Facebook to be able to use this thing. Go ahead. Go now, ahead. Now we know why that's why that data is that expensive, though, right? No, why is it? Tell, because, yeah, tell us. Because tell we, the listeners. we we know what people are using the Oculus for that they want to pay a little extra for Facebook to not know about it. Oh, the VR porn, dude. Yeah, you got to keep your <laughs> VR porn private. <laughs> Wait, does VR porn? Oh, go yeah, get it, <laughs> and he's gone. TNT's out the door. <laughs> he's like, I'll be right. <laughs> <I'll be right. laughs> okay. I gotta go drop five hundred dollars on an Oculus. Get my phone out right now. They've been uh, they've Oculus been uh, making that for a long, long time. Like way back, even before uh, VR was popular. Like way, it's been. A, it's, I'm surprised they've been making it as long as they have. But I feel like the porn industry always tries to break through the next level of technology before like other industries do. Oh, like, let's keep it cutting edge. <laughs> okay, look, I'm I'm gonna out myself as a degenerate here a little bit. That now, is I'm a familiar. Okay. I'm familiar with like the 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 porn that you can put on. The porn you can put on your phone, <laughs> Is it fine? and then you can like it. You put it. You're supposed to like put it in a box, and then you keep it on your head. And as you look around, like right. the scene moves. Yeah. I'm familiar. Yeah, that's with that. that's essentially what it is. Yeah, but just with bigger goggles. But with like, but in, in a system made for VR, not like a little cheap headset that you use your phone with. So it, it really could be like a 360 encompassing view. So you're telling me there's guys out there right now with. <laughs> Five hundred dollar VR headset on, just eyes covered, just <laughs> kidding it. I, I, uh, it is the world that we live in, and the internet is a thing. So I would have to say that there's just, probably even more than we imagine mm, are doing that out there. Just my lips guess. extra moist from. <laughs> mm, mm. That... Dude, I don't, I don't know if I want to see a porn star right up in my face like that, though. Like, watching on a screen is good enough for me. No, it's the illusion. The illusion of it actually <laughs> happening. happening. You're, you're in the moment. I think that's one of the things is that we, we live in, like, a super technologically advanced time all of a sudden. And I think right, that's right. one thing that I feel like authors of the past looking at the future don't think <clears throat> about is 
people's weird porn habits of the future. Um, <laughs> they always got to take it to the next level, dude. Oh yeah, no, it's always been a, it's always been ahead of the game, and now we've got <laughs> that what do you, horrible. Yes, what do you what do you think the next step is, DJ Dan? Oh, it's those. Oh, I, I I have an idea. I'll see what he says. He says first. Yeah, I want to hear what what your what do you think the next step for porn is? No, we've already got like the the plugs right in, so you have like little <laughs> little porn dreams. <laughs> you know, like, we, 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 we already have these. Wait, I don't <laughs> explain this to me. No, no we don't. We don't to need the listeners. They need to know. Explain yourself. <laughs> well, I'm I'm sure the next level would be like you get like some kind of like Elon Musk head and implant or something. Oh, you get a you get a neuro down, link. A neuro link. You could just download it. You know Musk is trying to play on that right now. He's like, it's already yeah. out there. They have a neural yeah. link already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And then, and then you like you you just it, you turn it on and you feel the sensations without even having to do it. Yeah, then he was one day have sex again. He was one day wearing those goggles. He's like, these are heavy. I need this in my brain. <laughs> um, it's the next step. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I was thinking like those, uh, like those, those crazy sex dolls they have in Japan that are supposed to be like lifelike and all, and then somehow you like make it like an AI robot that yes, like acts like a porn star. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, that would be so scary. No. Oh my god! <laughs> There's that have thing. like a menagerie of sex dolls. <laughs> that I, I own AI. That's horrifying to me. The uncanny uh, valley. The uncanny valley there. Just oh yeah. Like you walk. You walk in from from work, and they're just wandering your home. They're like, "Hello, master. I'm home. Are no. you ready for me to surface you?" And you're like, "Ah!" I would be like, "I am not morally okay. You just sit down, please. Here, do you need, do you need anything, sex robot? Please so you, don't you, you, don't you, judge me. I would. Feel, I would. You can't fuck a robot. You can't. No, I can't. I don't think I can. I know that that may show something wrong with me. Um, I'm the fucked up one here. But You're like, sit down, sex robot. Do you need anything? Are you okay? How are you feeling? I, I, I feel uncomfortable with this. I can't fuck a robot. I, I <laughs> what if it's yeah, like I don't really know if robot. I could either. A really hot robot. <laughs> I'd have to get to know the robot first. I have to like talk a little bit, get to know its like, interests. What's your personality like, robot? In order for me to be attracted to you, I have to know that you have a good personality. And robots like. I mean, listen, guys. Do we talk to our right hands? Do we get to know our right hands' feelings? No. But it doesn't look like a person. I mean, sometimes you draw a little marker on it or whatever to give it. Hi there, how you know, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, like, are you ready for this? Mm. <laughs> I don't, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, dude, I don't know if I could have sex with a robot either. It'd be weird. No, not for $2,000. I mean, not that I know their prices. <laughs> yeah, not for twenty seven ninety five and $400 shipping and the $800 setup fee. TNT no. is just like, no, I need a good discounted sex robot. Thank you very much. I need a deal <laughs> here. No, they're really small if you go, like, under $1,500. They get oh, a half person like you were talking about earlier. <laughs> oh my god, she was a robot. <laughs> oh, that's where it is. Wow, you we have finally me. figured it out. All right. Oh, All right. I'm, I'm sorry for the judgmental <laughs> things I said about robot love earlier. Um, <laughs> I feel like that was really judgmental. Uh, that was coming from a very closed minded viewpoint. Yeah, yeah. Robot uh, love is real love. Yeah, they're real people. All right. Sometimes they're they are programmed to like you. So now <laughs> I have seen, I have seen like the virtual reality yeah. where they have like, how can I put this? They have a semen extracting robots. Oh, they, they don't. They, you can we me. pause and rewind? Can we explain that word for a second? Okay. <laughs> semen extracting robots. Yes. I mean, I thought it was self-explanatory, but yes. Well, because well, here's the seriously, thing is, I understand that the, the, the device that's attached to, I, you know, I believe all three of us, um, it, it, it kind of extracts itself. Is it, this thing's taking it out forcibly? <laughs> I mean, it just helps <laughs> with the process. Oh. oh, got it. Like, okay, yeah, I got it's, you. It's the term extracting that upset me. Uh, so, okay, okay. No, we're, so we're, it's like a, uh, it's, it's a sleeve. <laughs> it's a sort of like movable sleeve that extracts. Kind of sleeve. It's coaxing. We're making it sound sexier by the sex. <laughs> yeah. And it has like little little teeth on the inside that kind of. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I couldn't even. I couldn't even. Look, once you start talking about teeth and semen, that was woo! the most erotic thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the teeth, just boy, just doesn't that these, look hotter? <laughs> these teeth are in there, and they're just get at it. Robot right, so. love is real. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> so on the documentary, I saw 
that at a, a sperm bank, I'm not sure if it was in China, Japan, I don't remember and I don't want to be offensive, but I saw that they had a semen extraction machine, but it was only like waist height and it kind of looked like a, I don't know, like a indoor air conditioning unit. And, <laughs> and then they would put on the VR headsets and then they would experience the scene and then they would just kind of put their... Really? This is yeah. like, so like, instead of like a normal, like, uh, sperm donation bank where you just like go in and do your thing and come out and say, here's the stuff. Mm -hmm. They have like this whole elaborate, like, love you, love you setup where they're like, put on wow. the headset. It's like, you walk in, she's like serving you tea in the video and stuff. She's like, would you like to sit down? Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, I would. And then you get, you know, you get the sensation. You go in and they, the teeth just, just just get in there until it's I time. mean, there's a there's a sleeve on it, but yeah. You yeah. described it really well. I, I hope um, so. I, I don't, don't know how I would feel about using a, a, a machine that other people have used all day. There I mean, would there would maybe be a weird feeling in that, uh, <laughs> similar to the hot tub question from uh, a couple episodes ago. <laughs> How do you um, know about the high? How do you feel about hot tub? We'll get into that later. I, I we'll, we will get into that. Um, We're gonna get into that. <laughs> uh, but I, I would have a, a similar feeling of going like, I mean, there's been a lot happening they in here. Sanitize, guys. No, they I'm sure sanitize. they're good at it. No, still dude. got an issue with it. You want, you want your own personal sleep? That would be like, that'd be like your buddy being like, hey, dude, I got this really awesome uh, pocket pee. You want to borrow it, dude? Check it out. It's real good. A flashlight. Yeah, yeah, your buddy's like, hey, you want to borrow my flashlight? <laughs> like, Maybe he's a very sanitary buddy. <laughs> yeah, um, what, if he, what if he sanitizes it, like, in front of you? He's, he has, like, the, uh, what do you, like, one of those kitchen brushes, and he's taking it in there, he's <laughs> cleaning it out, just getting in there and scraping it. He's got the soap and water, the light saw, the disinfectant. Very thorough. Very uh, thorough. See, my first thought when you described this uh, bizarre semen extracting plant um, was there is going to be that one. Plant. There is, is going to be that one person who comes in. They're like, "And here's your VR headset," and they're like, "Nah, I don't need it." <laughs> yeah. He's like, "I just, I just, I just, I just like fucking robots. I like fucking air conditioning units. <laughs> it's my thing." And finally, they've made it just for me. <laughs> oh, John's back again. He's here three <laughs> times a week. I mean, he fair can, enough. Yeah, he can finally can fuck the air conditioner without chopping it off. It's great. <laughs> fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. So Good for John. Real quick, I want to touch on this. So basically, I don't really use Facebook. I've had Facebook in the past. I deactivated my accounts long ago. Good for um, you. So when, I signed up, so when I signed up for this, I just made a new Facebook account with an email that I don't use and had nothing on it. So like, I was like, yeah, feel free to steal nothing. But what they actually take from you, it said they do – your physical dimension, your hand size, how big your play area is, uh, all the data you create using it, as well as your obvious stuff like your IP address and yada yada. So they're, they're like getting information about how large you are and what sort of area you have to play in and like weird. It, it can calculate your weight, the size of your home. That's uh, fascinating. Yeah. It's yeah. fascinating it's or terrifying. Yeah. It's terrifying. Yeah. yeah, right. So, like, you know, they always say if it's if, if the service is free, you are the you are the product. You know what I mean? Like they're giving you the 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 thing for free so they can steal all of your information. Or get like, you what with microtransactions. They, what do they need that for, dude? Like, what are they like? Why are they just building stockpiles of our data? Facebook is like the scariest entity on the planet next oh, to Google. Oh, 100%. Yeah, what do, you, no. what do you think the issue is with this DJ dance face? Uh, oh, my, the, my facial expression of horror <laughs> that I have right now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, why, why, do you think, yeah. why do you think they're doing this? Stuff? Well, there's like the bo <laughs> there's the boring idea that they're probably just trying to figure out just like the technical know-how of how to make a, an Oculus, <laughs> which doesn't always end up with you punching a hole in your wall. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which is is possible, uh, but they've been doing this data collecting thing for years. Like even like y'all remember like the Wii. Yeah, they used to have like kids on the Wii would have to like input their their weight and their height in this like Wii Fit thing, and yeah, then yeah, it would base it would base your little character on the screen and collect that data, and it would make them fatter or thinner based on what you put in, and you could not change it. Oh, I didn't know that. So like, if you were like a, a portly young fella. It would make you big and portly, and then you'd be like, Mom, why is my character big and tiny? And, and it wouldn't just do that. Like, there was a generation of, like, 11-year-olds who we told them, you're kind of fat. You should work <laughs> out. 
And these kids like, thanks the fuck, uh, computer. <laughs> Um, so I, I don't trust these big tech companies with, uh, when they start doing like all that data collection, it makes me feel a little, a little like they're up to no good. Or maybe mm -hmm. they're just trying to design a better air conditioner to fuck and they just need everyone's dimensions. I don't know. <laughs> they're like, well, our average user is five foot eight. So, you know, we got to get the air conditioner a little bit shorter because yeah, 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 I don't know. I feel like the real answer is, is that. These companies spend millions of they spend billions of dollars every yeah. year for what they call targeted advertising. Right, right. Because advertising is cool, but there's no guarantee you're gonna buy that. So if they can figure out as much information as they can about you, mm -hmm. then they can figure out exactly what you're gonna buy. They want to know what type of brand of toothpaste you buy so that they can incorporate that into everything that you view online so that it subliminally influences you to buy that stuff so if they can figure out that how big your house is or how big your room is oh we know what kind of furniture you should have if we can figure out how much you weigh oh let's let's have you uh look at this clothing line that specifically caters to your size um so it, it's about saving money with generalized advertising mm -hmm. and getting more into that targeted advertising mm -hmm. Oh, the amount of money they lose on the Oculus, they make up probably a hundredfold in, in advertising. Yeah. And because they make money on, oh, here, we'll advertise our other products that we have a, a hand in the barrel. And you'll buy all of those at regular price. And we make billions of dollars off of that or whatever. It's, it's, it's a crazy thing. Now, Jonas, I know this has happened to you. I want to know, DJ Dance Face, have you ever happen, had it happen where you'll be talking to somebody about a certain product or a certain brand line? And then you'll notice that it pops up on your phone. Oh, 100%. 100%. All the time, yeah. It's um, happened to all of us. And this is it's, a real thing. It's to the point that I feel like we're so inundated with these targeted ads that we don't even notice it for the most part anymore. <laughs> I remember when, when, in the very beginning when they first started doing these, that stuff would happen. I'd be like, well, wow, that's creepy. And, <laughs> yeah, right. And now it happens so much, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I guess they just... <laughs> They're Thanks, just Daddy listening. Zuckerberg. They're just he just knows us. what I want. Well, I, I like the <laughs> Thanks, whole thing George back Bush in the Patriot Act. Right. <laughs> well, I used to think about back in the day, everyone was always like, oh my God, is the FBI tapping my house? And then everybody just puts Google Home and Alexa in their house, which is literally <laughs> like a wiretap connected to the internet all the time. Because, dude, TNT, do you remember like when you first came to Texas? Uh, we found on your app that it stored all of the things that you asked Alexa. Like when you would go, Alexa, what's the temperature or Alex? And it was not even just what you asked. It was literally a recording of his voice. You could find it on the settings where it just, so it just has like a profile. That. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> yeah. So when right. you call in like a, when you call up someone and you're stalking someone, they're like, this voice matches this voice at this IP address. It Let's come get them. It's nuts. Not yeah, to mention that your, your phones are basically tracking devices. They can find oh, absolutely. you for your phone. They can pull up your phone records for your, your history of everything you've ever looked up, everything you've ever Googled. All of that oh. information is stored somewhere. The government has oh, access yeah. to it. And, oh, and we have Google Internet, so they know way more about us than exactly. <laughs> oh, man. It's, 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 it's very, yeah. it's very, very The concerning. things that freak but me it's out. It's like, what can you do about it at this point? Right. It's like, I like when I like say I run to the dollar store and then I come home and like 20 minutes later, it's like, what did you think of the dollar store? And I'm like, ah, uh, would you like to rate the dollar store? Dude, like, I hate that shit. <laughs> it's so I creepy. Never, never anything. Uh, but no, Mark dude. Zuckerberg, we know you're listening. Um, We love you. We think you're great. And please don't do anything <laughs> terrible to us. Yeah. Overlord Zuckerberg, we, we still praise you every night before we go to sleep like we're required to. <laughs> I don't okay. think you're a robot, and if you are a robot, I'm sorry for all the disgusting things we said about robots. <laughs> yes. We don't Hail think Bezos. you're in that. Hail Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, real quick, we will touch on it, then we'll move on to something else. So, what is your uh, what is your uh, thought on uh, hot tubs? Fuck hot tubs. Oh, uh, you're an F hot tubs guy. Yeah, it's human soup. Uh, it's okay. Thank you! I... <laughs> I you get one other person to agree with you and all of a sudden you're you're happy about this. Which which means I guess I think with the with the principle which is like eight out of ten eight out of ten people will will like a hot tub. So I guess I'm the I'm the other the two. 
out of the 10. You two, um, you two are the two. Yeah. But no, uh, the concept, there's there's the hygienic portion of it, which I have a disgusting job. Uh, so like I'm, I'm used to the gross, but something about sitting in a soup with somebody else um, makes me feel a little weird. And two is just the social aspect of it is that sitting with another person in a tub instantly puts me into an awkward space, which I don't know what to say. I'm like, <laughs> thank you. We're thank cooking you. in each other's juices right now. I shouldn't have said that. That's ruined this moment. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you with your wife? Yeah. You know okay. what? Yes, um, okay. I'd probably still say that and ruin the moment. Um, <laughs> Does your wife like hot tubs? I think she's okay with hot tubs. Come on, I'll yell like like her later. Of people are. Yeah. Do you she... like? Will you like swim in a public pool or a swimming pool with your friends? Is that different than a hot tub to you? I would do it, but <laughs> I would have thoughts the whole time, and then I, I would, I would at the end, and this is from a series of things. Um, I've had good experiences hot tubs. My first time drinking beer was in a hot tub, but by that time I was drunk enough that the thoughts as <laughs> of of the soup were gone. The um, germaphobe thoughts have had left. <laughs> but I mean, this may have started that I was I was in a pool once when I heard a lifeguard yell out, "Is that a rock?" And then someone else yet yelled, "Rocks don't float." And then they had us all get out of the pool because um, someone shit the pool. Um, oh God. Oh, and wow. I've I can't never go... been in a poop pool before. No, it was a poop pool. So I, it, it was really hard to go back after a poop pool. <laughs> TNT is just leaning far. Back I'm sorry, far. TNT, for bringing that uh, image up. But, <laughs> he um... already doesn't like pools. Now he's dead. It wasn't, it wasn't just like half a Snickers bar, like a fun size. Not even a Snickers bar. It was a rock. It was a, they had to send a guy out with a bucket. Oh God, he's he's bobbing for poo, dude. He's ready to go. It was, That's it was bad. Oh, it was... I mean, but Jonas did chlorine, so we're good. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, so man. it was fine. Like that water was great. We could all hop right back in afterwards. The chlorine just negated the poop. Did you Once they got the in? poop out. No, that was <laughs> I was done for the day. <laughs> and <laughs> and done with saying. public pools. This I would feel like yeah. I'm not a big public pool guy. I will go to like my. I mean, like the pool at the apartment complex, I guess. But right. like, I won't go to like. Austin City Pool, pay three dollars and jump in and go swim. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really good on that. Like I'm not going to Zuck Park to swim. Yeah, no. no. Oh, to the, the the Barton Springs. Those are all cold. Yeah, those are shocking. So, <clears throat> all right, I want to get one more story in here before we. No, I mean, um, honestly, let me just solidarity high five. Give me, give me clap. There oh, it that's, is. That's, there this it is. is the camera. Now you you stay out of this. Yeah, you I'm don't. Getting, no, no show me the teeth. Put those teeth away. <laughs> <laughs> we are done with that story. It's gone. <laughs> Just put my fingers in your teeth. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we're we're so, all playing with the camera now. Uh, as <laughs> as we've all uh, grown up, we've all realized that reality shows, um, you know, sometimes they're fake. You know. What? So yeah, I'm sorry to ruin the Santa Claus myth for you. Reality shows sometimes aren't real. God damn it. I know you're. You're like, wait, Bridezilla is not a real show. Ninety Day Fiance, that is not. This has devastated me. I'll need a few days. <laughs> you're like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. I'm, guys. I'm just gonna sign out. So, in uh, there was a man. He was on a Chinese reality TV show. Um, he was a Russian guy who um, he, he joined on as a. He was like too. a consultant or a teacher or something. And they and they he was like they said oh you're a good looking guy do you want to be part of the show because it was like to form a boy band whoever got voted on to, would has to form a boy band contractually well midway through the season he hated every minute of it and he couldn't leave on his own accord and they kept voting him on longer and longer and longer on the show because the fans got to decide when he left. So he was there all the way to the finale because he couldn't leave without having to pay a giant fine. And they said he was doing like half-hearted performances and like he was like rapping and dancing. Like he was like, Don't vote for me. You're not gonna get anything from me. And like they just for three months kept voting him on till the finale, and they finally voted him off. Like, um, yeah. So I thought that was a pretty terrible, awful story about humanity right that there. That sounds like hell. 
Um, really fun for the audience. That actually sounds great. Um, yeah, and I'm, right? I, I'm not saying I wouldn't have voted to keep him on. Ooh, I probably would have too, I, just to but be an asshole. that sounds horrible for that guy. Everybody loves to be a troll. Everybody loves to right. troll. Yeah, it's like, you're like, oh, you want to sign up for something that you weren't really into? Well, guess what? That's your life now for three more months pretending to be in a boy band. No, yeah. Like, if you give the people the opportunity to name a space station, they're going to name it Bodie McBoatface. If you give the people an <laughs> right. opportunity to vote a Russian guy who hates his job to stay on a show, they're going <laughs> to do it. Right. That was like when, who was it? Uh, it was uh, God, with Mr. Worldwide. Uh, who is that? Pitbull. Pitbull. When he was like, I'll perform at a Walmart, and then everyone <laughs> votes the Alaska Walmart that he would go and do a you performance. You know what? Props at. to Pitbull, though. He handled that with with a, a great spirit. Yeah. Did um, he actually go to the Alaska oh, Walmart? He, did, yeah. he went to the Anchorage Walmart. Yeah. The yeah, most remote like, one. Yeah, but people, it's like, that's what's gonna happen. When you give the internet a chance to do anything, <laughs> oh, they're yeah. gonna do the most extreme thing possible. Because... A bunch of people living in their mom's basement has nothing better to do than ruin no! the life of somebody else. <laughs> That's horrible. I, I love that everybody on the internet lives in their mom's basement. <laughs> where <laughs> all three of us would do the same thing and I've never been in a basement. <laughs> Are you we know, all not I've in our mom's basement? Bas <laughs> have you ever lived in a mom's basement? No, I don't think I've so. I've never lived in a basement. Before. I lived in Oklahoma. We didn't even have a fucking basement. Where are these basements? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, You're in these York? rich, rich assholes with basements. <laughs> Everybody's got a basement. And they just go down there and they get on the internet and they troll fit. In New York, the apartment building did have a basement, but it's just where they kept the broken washing machine with the roaches in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so i just like it's like but here's the thing i guess i guess he got his just dessert because like he he went on as a consultant and somehow they convinced him to get on the show because he was an attractive person like okay so i mean yeah don't sign on for one thing and then like i guess it's his own uh bound he had boundary issues because he oh, let him talk him into it yeah yeah no money probably looked nice i'm sure they oh i'm sure compensation for it <laughs> Oh, and I'm sure they're well taken care of. They're probably in some like lush, fancy place with like all this like f lavish food and yada yada. And you have to get in front of a camera and sing and rap in yeah, fancy man, suits all day. That's <laughs> like, like that's like a purgatory of your own making. <laughs> yeah, I felt bad for him at first, but then I'm thinking like he did get himself into it. He probably made bank on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, poor yeah, yeah. Maybe. Like oh. You know, okay, all right, here you okay. go. How much would you have to be paid for you to do that? To go on a boy band show that if you won, you had to be in a boy band after that. How much would the compensation be up front to, let, to make you do it? Okay, well, where this is this in China, South Korea? Where are we going with this boy band? Uh, it, it, it can be in the U.S., that's fine. Because it depends on the intensity of the boy band. Um, oh, yeah, because in Korea, like, the, the, the teenage girls will try to accost you constantly. If this is, yeah. like, some lazy-ass, like, Hanson shit, cool. I'll grow my hair out and say, mm bop. But if I, like, have to, like, stay, like, super physically fit and learn <laughs> dance moves, fuck that. Um, no, talking, no amount of money would be enough? we're talking millions of dollars. Oh. Yeah. How much and money would it take? the of teenage girls, which I know you pine for. <laughs> God, fuck, this is getting creepier by the minute. This is worse than robots. <laughs> yeah. But like, how much, like, how much money would he be like, okay, I'll, I'll join the show and do the competition. I have to stay the whole time until I'm voted off legally. How much money? Like, I think for a million dollars, I'd give it a shot. I would definitely. Yeah, I think I would give it a shot too. But I feel like it would immediately go to... What uh, happened to this guy? Let's just troll the game show until they kick me off, because that sounds like the, the most fun way to do it. It does sound like the most fun way to do it. Yeah. Um, I don't know, dude. I'd love to be in a boy band, be 100% <laughs> honest with you. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, sign me up. Are we starting I mean, how, much, how much is it going to take? It's going to take whatever the cost is for my workout plan, my personal chef. Um, I'm going to need spending money. So, I mean, cover all of those plus a, what do you call that? A uh, a movie deal. No, Jesus Christ. A therapist? Because I mean, you're probably going to need one of those. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> all the amenities plus a fund that I have for spending. Like, I'm going to need, I need a yeah. new car. I need to live somewhere. My mom needs somewhere to live. So, I don't know. It'd be like, you want to add all these up? I'm going to say probably well, a couple million dollars to get me. Well, here's the thing, there. though. 
this was in China, and we know how they humanely treat all of their residents. I'm not commenting on that. They're not worried about your living situation. They're like, here's 50 bucks. Deal with it. We know where your parents live. Now, if anyone's curious about doing this, um, I have heard <laughs> stories that not in China, but in Japan, oftentimes people who go over there to mm -hmm. like teach English um, can get side gigs going on game shows because it's just fun for, for game shows there to just grab random foreigners and put them on the game show. Really? Um, I'm sure that's not for any toxic problematic reasons at all um <laughs> yeah right <laughs> but, it's like it's like laughing at white people and black people uh, i'm guessing I, I, yeah um but people have made some money doing that well um, and i and i think aren't the japanese game shows the, those really really outlandish like you just it's like just the most random be. the ra most random shit ever that you're doing like yeah, silent library it's a pretty great one i'd recommend wait that. Wait, hold on a second. Tell us. I'd have no clue what this is. Now I'm curious. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. You, it's someone in a library, and they like it's it's completely quiet, and they can't make any noise, and weird, outlandish things happen around them, and they have to just stay t totally quiet and say nothing while doing it. Weird. And game what happens show. if they don't? I, I don't know. They die. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I have murdered. I haven't seen that the, the uh, someone get through it all the way. But uh, okay. So once on they make a noise, it's over. I think so. So yeah, so it's like what's that movie lose. where they can't talk. Quiet place. Quiet place. Yeah. That's how. Yeah. That's where. That's where Jim from the Office got the idea for his movie. He's like, he I'm just gonna do a movie. <laughs> 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 and if they talk, they die. But it's similar. But you know, not as extreme as Silent Library. You know, it's interesting because I have definitely seen a video of like celebrities uh just for instance i saw hugh jackman on one of those japanese uh game shows and he was just making like he was just emoting and making all these faces just to just to like kind of get the ham it crowd up. going yeah essentially just hamming it up i didn't realize is that they actually played paid a premium for americans to get on that show it's yeah there's a there's a video of mads mickelson and they're making him eat weird things with chopsticks um and just laughing at him and he he you can tell he's like this is this is dumb <laughs> I, what am i doing <laughs> I, i'm That's famous I, <laughs> they're just like ha ha silly american trying to eat with chopsticks let's let's try to make him eat like marbles oh. i could make millions i'm black go there and just be like put me on a game show yeah you know, we should really try to get the Crazy Town podcast hip in Japan because then they'll fly us out to do something. We'll do a live on scene in Japan version. Yeah, yeah. Make the Japanese we'll have, like, translators. Version, get a translator for the podcast, dude. Get yeah, that exactly. You, you All right, that. I'm on it. Do you have right. any contacts over there, DJ, DJ Dance Face? Do you have a contact in Japan? I have absolutely no contacts in Japan. You ever been no. in Japan? No, I've been to Hong Kong. Which is adjacently closer than Texas is to Japan. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> it's clo It's closer. It's not. It's not in Japan. It's the closest. Okay, I've, it's it's close. the farthest I've been yeah. to East Asia. It was okay. nice then. That was before all the current. That's sad though. It's like New York, but cleaner. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah, there is. Fair there is a few sad things going on fair in that enough. area currently. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I would love to yeah. go. I would love to go myself. Was that for pleasure or for business? Uh, my wife's family used to live in Japan. Oh, okay. Wow. Not Japan in uh, Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Nice, nice. So it was it was guy. a trip just to go to go see family. It was, and... it was just a visit trip. I I enjoyed it uh, very much uh, for for the most part. Nice. Yeah. I. Uh, what, what about the other part? I have very weak bowels, so any traveling trip becomes a really exciting uh, an exciting adventure. And me learning very basic words for bathroom and getting in really wacky situations. Um, oh, is it because of the food that you eat and stuff, or just like just like anxiety traveling, sort of like whatever? Who knows? Anywhere, anytime I travel outside of the United States, I I got a shit, I got a shit fast, and I have to run real fast and. <laughs> Yell bathroom in different languages. Oh, they're someone... like crazy American. All he needs. I'm sure they're used to it, but they're just like, ah, oh, this guy again. Never heard of geographical IBS. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Inside the U.S., I mean, perfectly apparently. okay. Once they get outside the board, it's like a, it's like one of those shopping carts that lock when you leave the parking lot. Yeah, I just get, I, I, I cross the border and my balance is empty. All right, fair enough. He's gone oh, too man. far. <laughs> oh goodness! Well, that was quick, man. That that is all the time we have for today's episode. Is it? Yeah, that we've already been an great. Hour. That was really <laughs> yeah, enjoyable. So we want to thank <laughs> D- uh, DJ McDance Face for being with us. <laughs> and of course, if you're, if you're still listening, uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel, thecrazytown.com will take you there, or you can go Spotify, iTunes, all that crap. Uh, DJ McDance Face, any closing words? Send these motherfuckers to Japan. Woot. I like how he's he's. If we get to go because of this, you're coming with us. Just saying. Yeah, that's all I'm. Ba- that's the only reason I did this podcast was to <laughs> just in case we may go to Japan. I got you. Dogecoin to the moon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, TNT. <laughs> any any other any other hey, closing hey, words? That was that was what I had to say. Dogecoin to the moon. All right, that's fair. All right, well, uh, for Jonas and uh, and Mr. DJ McDance Face. Yes, we are out. <laughs>